Okay, well, welcome neighbours, is what I should say. Um, I'm so delighted to be here. I've been a local for 38 years, and I really love living here in Peran. Um, I trained at the Alfred Hospital as a doctor, as did my father and grandfather before him. And I've served the community on a local school council as chairman and on the local hospital board. It's such a vibrant, diverse place to live here in Peran. Fantastic public transport, um, and we really are very, very lucky. But we do have problems, and that is that there are rising, um, there's a rising population, and we are really battling with problems of congestion. We're fantastically connected. I've grown up catching the number eight tram into the city, uh, catching the train to the G. Kids love catching the bus around the city. We've got some fantastic bike paths. More than 99% of us actually live within 400 metres of public transport, and we are the electorate that uses public transport the most of any electorate in the state of Victoria. 30% of us use it every day. But unfortunately, things have really slid over the last four years, I'm sorry to say. We've got a Labor government that doesn't care about Moran, and unfortunately, our current Greens member hasn't been effective. So it's really important that we get on with an effective infrastructure program going forward because Donington is expecting to have 20,000 different residents in the next 15 to 20 years. And if you look at that Forest Hill redevelopment or development that's happening very, very rapidly, where are all those people going to use public transport? They're going to use it here in Paran. So what are the key issues for Paran? Quite frankly, we're all able to articulate what those are because we're all using them every day. The problem of congestion is probably the biggest issue I find when I'm phone canvassing around the electorate, and I've phone canvassed, I've made more than 5,000 phone calls into the electorate around, so I really do know what I'm talking about. Um, we have problems of overcrowding our trains, our trams, and our buses, um, and it's plain really for everybody to see. And we're really concerned about the rising problem of violence um, in our local area, particularly when it comes to community safety. So there's been little progress also in helping our cyclists. I'm also concerned, I think as many people in the community of Victoria are, about Labor's voting and the cost blowouts. Um, and we really think that this is incredibly invidious. So let me step, step you through some of the failings uh, of the last four years. South Yarra is not being connected to Northern Metro. This is despite a pre-election promise uh, by Mr Farrah here on Joy FM. Let me just play in. You're actually going to have to catch uh, two trains, like two interchanges, and then catch a bus. So the Labor government, again, is wasting our taxpayers' money. So that brings me to budget blowouts. 
an estimated $35 billion in infrastructure budget blowout by the Auditor General. Skyrail, uh, the tunnel, tearing up the East West Link, the most expensive road that was never built. That $25 billion blowout could have been, better, could have been uh, invested not just in connecting South Yarra to Melbourne Metro for, for our Koran residents, uh, but also for hospitals and schools, for the infrastructure that's required by the population explosion that's happening here in Victoria. In my world of health, if you don't deliver a project on time and on budget, you don't get the contract next time round. I don't believe Labor deserves our contract from the taxpayer in November this year. So congestion is probably the biggest issue for this electorate. Uh, the Liberal National Government plans to build both the North East and the East West Link to ease the congestion in our city. That will help the Monash Freeway, which will help ease congestion with the rat run that's, that is already occurring here in Paran. We also have a congestion busting traffic light removal policy of $5 billion. The Matthew Guy Government is a forward planning government. It understands that we need to think about how to manage the population explosion with a decentralisation plan and thinking about rail and networks for the whole of the state of Victoria. But we also care about the livability of our city. We care about our community. A Liberal National Government will lift the Punt Road overlay. We've heard that from Sam Gibbons. Uh, but we really need it to happen, and only a government that is in government can actually deliver on this. We don't want a traffic sewer running through our electorate. Prime needs serious investment in public transport infrastructure, not road widening, which is not good for our local community. We're also committed to commuter safety. Um, as you know, the last Liberal uh, government actually introduced uh, protective service officers for our train stations, which help to keep trains um, and, and commuters safe. Just yesterday, we announced pedestrian crossing um, improvement down at Paisley Street and Punt Road. We've committed to red light cameras uh, for that South Yarra pedestrian crossing uh, with the zebra crossing and flashing uh, pedestrian lights. Now, that is something that's not been delivered despite 18 months of advocacy by the local residents. Six separate submissions to big roads. This is a problem where we are have an ineffective member at the moment. I would like to be a strong, authentic voice for Paran. I have real life experience, I know how to get things done, and I very passionately believe in this community and doing the right thing for the people of Paran. Thank you.